Robotros. All right, let's try this again. We're cut off the beginning. All right, so we're playing Robotros today. So, hi, Gretchen. You're supposed to say hi, not hi, Gretchen. Hi. You wave the camera. I don't see you. Your camera's over here. Put your head down lower. Lower. There you are. Say hi. Hi. How old are you? Four. You're Yay! four years old. Awesome. Juanez. You want to watch us play Robot Turtles, Juanez? We're going to play Robot Turtles, and we're going to put this video on YouTube as an uh, explanation of Robot Turtles. So we're also recording it, and we're going to turn this into a YouTube video, and we're going to play Robot Turtles. And Robot Turtles is, of course, the game for little programmers. So this game teaches um, kids uh, basic programming skills, um, primarily um, procedural dynamics and how to do things in a procedural way, um, and teaches kids programming. So. We're going to show what's in the game because this is going to be a, a kind of, not kind of like an unboxing, but it's also going to be an explanation uh, on YouTube for people to watch. Yeah. So it says right here introduces basic coding concepts to preschoolers. Yay! So there's the that's the lid. Let's go ahead and put Dad, it inside the lid. Why can I talk you can talk whenever you want. All right, so let's see what's inside here, Gretchen. Let's look inside the box, shall we? What's this thing? I don't know. It's the board. It's the board for the board oh, game. Yeah. I forgot. Yeah, it's a brand new thing, Duana. This is a, this is a brand new, cool. interesting thing. So you got the board. No, we'll go through and look at all these things. Yeah. Chill out. Chill out. All right, so this is the board for the game. It's a pretty basic board, but uh, what color turtle do you want to be, Gretchen? And let's put, let's go ahead and show the colors out here for the camera. Oh, so you want to be the magenta-ish purple one? So basically, there's four colors: turtles, blue. This is supposed to be green, red, and purple. So it's kind of magenta. Um, and each turtle comes with its own deck of cards. So, and these are called code cards. And basically, they break down four different kinds. These are for an advanced game that we're not going to be playing. We're not playing so crazy advanced because we're playing with a four-year-old. But these are allow you to build um, little subroutines inside your programs, um, little functions in here called function cards. <laughs> and then um, you have the left turn. This is a left turn. And you can see it's got the little yellow flower and the yellow color and the left arrow on there for the kid. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down for her. And then we have the forward mechanic. Um, it's blue, it has a blue arrow, and has a forward. It's got a blue flower highlighted on there. And then we have turn right, which has a right arrow, it's purple, and has a purple flower on it. My name is Santa, my name is Santa. So we'll put there. She's our entertainment. And then we got these laser cards. So this is, um, the turtles have the ability to use a laser and have this laser card here. So those are the cards that we're going to be playing today. All right, Gretchen, sit down. Stop being crazy for the camera. All right, sit down in the chair. All right. <laughs> so then you got the instruction manual that also comes in the game. And it gives you some ideas. Um, basically, you walk up through the difficulty and add different uh, mechanics to play to make the game more and more difficult as you're going. So, I don't know if there's anything else I want to say about that. Um, so there's the four different colored turtles. She wants to be the, the purplish one, which is kind of close to the camera. So that's probably the way we turned the um, board. So that would work out like that. So we're going to put the purple turtle or the magenta. Everything in here in terms of pieces for the game, all the pieces for the game are um, just basically a cardboard cutout. So they look pretty nice. They're kind of well done. They got a, a glossy coating on them, makes them shine and shimmer. This is pretty nice. At least the turtle and the jewel. The whole point of the game is to get the turtle to capture the jewel. So that's the whole point of the game. And we have the bug card, which functions just like a, a, a bug in your program. So when you, when your program does something you want to do, you 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 call it out as a bug, and then you're able to redo your program or rewrite your code. Daddy's only allowed to do it. 
That's right. So there's two basic types of players. There's the the turtle master, which she's going to be she's going to be the turtle master for the day, and I'm the turtle mover. So I interpret the code that she plays, and um, basically move the turtle for her. That way it, it can move properly, and she doesn't have to figure out you know how the turtle actually moves. She just makes her best guess, but pulls the right program card, and then sees what Dad, happens and can call it out as a bug. I put these on the not put them on the floor, put them right here in front of you. That way you can pick the one you want, and we're just going to lay them right down here in a row to make your program, okay? So there's different kinds of castles. First, you start out, there's, this, there's nothing in the way, and you got to try to maneuver your turtle to their colored jewel to get it. Um, the first mechanic that then comes into play are things called ice castles. And ice castles can be shot with a laser, and then they will melt into a puddle, which can be crossed. The turtle cannot cross through an ice castle, but they can cross a puddle if it's been blasted with the laser. Go so we're gonna have we're gonna have. Let's see your tongue out of the camera. I know. Well, don't be kidding. We're supposed to be having fun. So we got the ice castles, which they can melt, and then the next thing that's introduced to them are the. Kind of like the brick castles or whatever they're supposed to be made out of. These are unaffected by laser, um, so these are hard obstacles that cannot be moved. And then the next mechanic that's brought into play are these boxes, and these boxes can be pushed, so they can be pushed to clear a path. Even so they block the, they block your path. You can just run right into them and push them out of the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a little bit of an obstacle course here for her, and then see if she can write a program to program her way to the Is jewel. Like no, nope, those are the obstacle cards that come default in the game. Uh, oh. So we'll put a box right here. Because we're still kind of, the box is still kind of a newer thing for her, and I don't know if she remember that from the last time we played. Um, the game also develops so where they can play several cards at a time, and then eventually they write whole programs, and they can also tr then try to make a, a code that is minimally as long using a combination of these um, function cards, in which they can write a small function of the code cards, and then call on the function using this. So there's a repeated function. They can use that to, to minimize the number of cards used. All right, so we're going to do this. Well, let's put it here. Let's put that there, this here. And turtles, uh, they do not move diagonally. They can only move up, down, left, and right. But they only really move forward. Um, let's do this. And this will be kind of interesting. This is not a little bit too difficult mechanic. I'll try that later. I was thinking about making you have to melt a spot for the box to go into to get your way out of it. But we're not going to do that. Wow, that's cool. Isn't mommy going to play? Nope, mommy's, I don't think mommy's going to play. We'll put a nice castle but here. That's not fun. Eh, it's okay. We can play with just you. That's plenty of fun. Dad, I what? Do it like that. We'll add another castle here. And now we'll have Gretchen try to get her jewel. Okay? So, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Alright, so you gotta pick your first code card and then we'll play it over here so they can see it on the screen. What, what do you want your turtle to do? That's right, move forward. That's a great job. I love that. So it's Joe's move forward card. So I, as the turtle mover, move her turtle forward. And then your also That's job as turtle mover talking. is to make... No, we got to tell them how to play. So also the turtle mover's job is also to make noises, make it also entertaining for the kids. So you got to make all these cool noises. Don't forget the, don't forget the poop sound. All right, we'll make the different noises. We definitely will. When we when we melt out the laser, we'll make all the noises. All right, wait. Now what are you gonna do? Pick our code card. And notice that there's flowers on here that coordinate with the with the turn and the different turning motions on there. Helps the kids figure out which how to turn. So she she's elected to turn left. So go. All right. Now what are you gonna do? Oh, she's going to blast the ice castle with her laser. 
All right, so I let it fire at any number forwards directly for or any, as long as there's nothing in you know intermediary between that and the ice castle. Just like go. <laughs> she likes to want to make that noise, apparently. So that's one of the ones I make when she melts. All right, she's gonna shoot the laser off again. All right, now we melted that one. All right, go ahead, spear gum out. Okay, and now what are you gonna do next? Now I'm gonna walk. You're gonna walk? Yes. Forward. Try. Great job. We're going forward. See. Now what are you going to do? Another forward. Let's do another forward. Let's put the next. Let's put that one here. All right. Forward again. Forward again. Awesome. Great job. Now what are you going to do? Turn. Now what are you going to do? Right, we turn right. All right, I can turn right. Is that the right one? Now what are you going to do? Oh, ice blast. I'm blasted with the laser. I melted. Now what are we going to do? Move forward again. I'll put it down over here. Okay, we'll move forward. Beep, 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 beep. Now what are we gonna do? Another forward. Another forward right there, okay. <laughs> Yay! You got your jewel, you did it, you win! Yeah, you did it. I now there she didn't do any mistakes, so she didn't have to use the bug button. But if any time she like chose to turn in the wrong direction or yeah, did something like that, it. she could hit she could slap her bug button and say bug and that would just undo that action and allow her to play another yes, card. I love Okay, you want to read through the whole program, so that all the all the code lines, so I can read right through it. So I can show the mama. Yeah, read the program off. Can you read the program? It's going, it's going this way, so it's, it's going down. Starts here. Starts. It does. Yep, starts there. Forward, left. Put the swift away. Left. That's right. Left. Left. Away from left. Push. Forward. Forward. And then go up here. Forward. Uh huh. Forward, forward, right, rest, forward. And then one more forward. Forward. Awesome. So basically, what the kids start to realize is that if we place this entire sequence, this board, See? we can now just place this is the, the lines of code, and if we were to play this code, this is a set of code that solves for, yeah, you are a big girl. This is a, this is a set of code that would solve for that specific problem. Forward, left, laser, laser, uh, forward, yeah. forward, forward, right, laser, le forward, forward. So, and then if we were to set up the same situation, she could play that whole card. Now, eventually, when the kids have reached the you know some of the higher levels, yeah. they'll write the whole code and then they'll go and you'll yeah. and you'll play it out and see if there's if there's any problems in there. The then they can always Daddy. start to write the whole piece of code. Yeah, we'll play again. We'll play another one. How's that sound? Yes. That sounds pretty but cool. Dad, Let's do it. This time I don't want to talk. This time you don't want to talk? No. Okay. This time I'm gonna make it pretty challenging. We'll see if you can figure it out. All right. All right, we're going to try to make something a little more challenging this time. So we're going to play this again. And you know what? He said that you got some epic loot. He said you did a great job. He liked it. He was watching it. He's watching it. He's watching you play. So we'll put all the code cards back on there. And we have a small table, so I'm just placing the code cards actually on the board. But usually we would, we would just we would have enough room to make another line to write the code right at the edge of the board. Which is what she's used to doing and reading them from left to the right. So I'll put back the right turn, put back the left turn. All right, I'm gonna straighten these cards up. There we go. Straighten these ones up a little bit. Kind of messy. Perfect. 
All right, so I'm going to set up another one. You can have to have it start there. There are um, a lot of examples that the kids are progressing through the through the game of kind of how you can set how you can set up different scenarios for them and challenges as they're going along through the process. So I'd like to try to make this one a little bit harder. Where I'd like to make the block here with a frozen one behind it. Like this. But it gotta, you know, it's gotta be able to have access to the to the frozen block. I'm gonna make it so she can't push it any other way other than up. And we'll give her the ability to get back there and melt that. And set it up like that. Uh. I know, you like making tongues out of the screen, don't you? <laughs> Sticking out your tongue. Alright, so this would be an interesting scenario to see. <laughs> um, now that she's played this game for a little bit, we'll see if she can solve how we're going to do this. And if you're watching, I'm sure you understand the puzzle that would be puzzling for a, a four-year-old to to solve this you know because we are not going to initially be able to move that box so and I'm gonna make it so well she could potentially make and mess it up by pushing the box to the edge and then she wouldn't be able to do it we'd have to start over I just want to see if she can do this so I'm setting up this challenging example and then we'll see if she can does it Oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Uh, she she's already found it. You know what? She doesn't even need to push the box out of the way. Yeah, I don't know if there's a way I can get her to get to be able to melt that without being able. To, all right. Yep. So let's just so since she solved it, let's all right. Go ahead. Put your first line of code down. Yeah, you're, she doesn't need to push the box out of the way because she can just once she melts the castle, move right through it. Unless I made the mud pu the puddle an obstacle or something. But all right. So we're gonna move forward. All right. Boop, 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 boop. Yes, this is one of the most unusual streams, isn't it? But it's freaking awesome. <laughs> yes. We're going to put this up on YouTube as an explanation video for the game and kind of show a kid playing it. And a kid being a four-year-old crazy kid. All right, that's funny. Okay, do your next one. I moved you. What's next? She just loves seeing herself on camera. She can look at the screen and see herself, so she's loving it. Another forward, all right. So put that there, and we'll go beep, 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 beep. <laughs> now what are we gonna do? Up oh, a left turn. All right, so we're gonna turn left. Whoop! Ice blast. Ice blast the laser. <laughs> can you put the ice wall again? So I can. Do now what are you gonna do? Could you put it over again so I can? You wanna do this one? You wanna replay? Yeah. All right, we'll do a replay of it. Ready? Laser blast. <laughs> That's like one of her favorite parts of the game, so I have to do that. <laughs> she likes that sound effect. It sounds kind of like a fart. So, go ahead and uh, play, your, play your move. Okay. I'm on the forward. All right, so we're going to go forward. Whoop, 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 what you gotta do? Bug. Bug. That's right. It's not what we wanted to do. Okay. So now we. What do you want to do? Oh, so we'll turn right. Okay. Ready? <laughs> turn it to the right there. Okay. Now we do this one. Forward. <laughs> now what are we gonna do? My code card. Your code card dropped one. Oh no! Disaster strikes. Oh no! Disaster strikes again. Two code cards down. Code cards down. Let's put. Oh no! Let's put them back on the table over here. There we go. All right. So what's the code card are you gonna play next?
Up, turn left. All right, now do it. Forward, she says. Forward again. Yay! We did it. You know what? I got it. All right, I got it. All right we're going to try this a different way. We're going to do this a different way. All right, we're going to do it like this. So we're going to set up on our scenario. So up here, we're going to push this over here. See if we can make this a little more challenging. Dad, hmm. I, like I want this here so she can't get to it from the side. We'll block that off. So she's only got one way at which she can attack this box situation now. So we kind of solved for that a little bit. We'll add another ice castle in here just for fun. It'd be nice if we could shoot over the box or something, but I don't know. I'm going to have to sit here and play with the mechanics, see if we can figure out something that, or maybe a new piece we can add to the game that'll allow her to get to something behind sure that box. You're not sure if you can do this one? This is kind of tricky. Remember, you can push this box. The box is pushable. So if you get behind it and you push forward, you can push it. But the ice castle's blocking it this way, so you can't push it that way. So let's put your code cards back and see if you can figure it out. And this is not going to be an easy one. This one's a little more challenging. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to. I can get on you did that last side. one. I know how to do it. I can get on the side, push it, and then I can ice bash. Here, oh, like that is an interesting thing to like think about it. Here. Yeah, we'll see. We'll try it. We'll see if you can do that. That sounds like a great idea to try. Yeah, that's a great problem Wait, solving right I then. Do I don't know. You try to tell me. You try to figure it out. Okay, go ahead. Place your code cards. What are you going to do first? Remember, you push the box. You can push the box. Remember? How do I do it? You get behind the box and you can push it. You get behind it. You push it forward and it moves. And you said you and you had the solution. You were just figuring it out. You figured it out. That was great. So why don't you play a code card? We'll try it. Okay. Well, laser blast isn't going to do anything against that castle because that castle is not meltable. Bzzz, chink, nothing. You just hit the no, I hit the I hit the mug next to the camera. That's okay. So that didn't work. And take off your headband, huh? Oh no, you dropped your headband. Alright, let's play a game. Let's pick a code card. And then we'll finish up the video here. Let's finish up the video. Let's see if you can't solve this puzzle. You gonna turn left? Okay, let's try that. Let's try this way. Alright, go left. Ping! Bug. Oh, bug. You don't like that, huh? Okay, we'll put a back one. Pink! All right, she's gonna choose to go forward instead. All right, so she likes this. CTD93, what's going on? Ah! You don't like that? You don't like that one? I, I, actually, I think that's what you wanted to do, Gretchen. That's a good spot because you can turn and you can push the box. See, she doesn't understand the box mechanic all the way. Yeah, she doesn't know the box mechanic. So we just kind of started using the box, so oh, yeah. the ability to push. All right, so now what do you want to do? That's right. So, what are you going to do next? Well, you got to pick a code card. I'm practicing. Oh, you're kind of making a little path inside your mind? Oh, okay. That's a great idea. Oh, okay. That's a great idea. Just kind of map it there in your mind. Okay. Alright, so I think you got it? Okay, so let's do a code card. Everybody's watching you. She says turn right. Alright, so let's watch this. Turn right. What do you think? Bug! Yeah. Go back. Let's try another one. 
She says turn left. Let's do this one. <laughs> left. We did it. Now what are we doing? All right, now what? Pick a code card. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Who? What you gonna do? Yep, push it. And use the forward that pushes it. But forward will push it. No, you don't want to turn. You want to use forward. Forward to push. So watch. Watch what happens, Gretchen. Pay attention. Watch. Watch. So it's going to push it like this. Watch around. Push, push the box. Push, 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 up. Yay! Now it's out of the way. See how it worked? Forward? Yeah, let me straighten these up a little bit for you. We're getting a little. There you go. Table's kind of slippery. Decisions, decisions. All right, so let's just turn right. Bing. Laser blast. <laughs> you got it. Now what? Forward. Forward again, she says. Turn left. <laughs> Laser blast. <laughs> awesome. Now what? Forward card. Code card forward. <laughs> Another forward. Yeah, you did it. Forward. Da, 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 da. You win. You got the jewel. You win. Great job. This is also a game which there are, if you are playing with multiple people and multiple children, there's no winners in the game. It's a, a, it's a game which everybody can win. You know, you, you don't have to get there first or anything. As a matter of fact, if everybody is playing perfectly and, and the program is written in, such, written in such a way that they were, you know, mirror images of each other, the first player would always win if they understood, you know, the actual mechanic and of that map. Um, so there isn't, there isn't a real game of winners. Everybody can win as they all get their jewel and the players who finish can, you know, help the other ones to do it. Because basically each one starts in the corner and then you can you can do your map so that they're very uniform. I'll show you. I mean, you can kind of set one up. This so those who are watching this who are interested in it can see. No, uh, they're not coming here and playing with us. <laughs> they can't come here. They're all over the world. They're in all different cities and stuff all over. They can't just all come here and play with us. But oh, I'm gonna get the jewels too. So you've got your so you got your turtles. So here's the the green turtle. Let's clean these cards up off of here. So we got these lasers here. Turning left. We've got quite a few forwards. And then right. And look, and what I did the first couple times there is after we finished the game, I went through and I reset it up and I and I played through the code cards and showed her, you know, how how each of those was working. And it's not something she got right away, you know, she had to figure it out. And they also learned, you know, turning she used to think, you know, left was going left and right was going right. But eventually they learned that, you know, eventually when you're you're facing the opposite direction, she's facing this way, you know, a left is actually gonna make him turn right here and you know, a right would make him turn toward the left. And it's all using those the purple and the flower mechanics is actually a really great way to show the kids which uh, you no know, relative direction and not just up down left and right. You have a relative direction. The turtle's left is not always your left. Um, so that's the mechanic you got going on there. And then usually you would set up, let's say, something like this. I mean, like, real simple or something. You could set up for all the turtles this way. Then you could set up a mirror image type of thing going on here on this side. You could set up something that's kind of mirror-like. I mean, and just and, they, and then the facings can also be different, but 
you don't have to do it the way that they're facing in the game. But you can see not everybody has exactly the same challenge because this person doesn't have to avoid the first block it, despite them being mirrored, but the other ones would. So we set that up like that, set this up over here, set that up over there. And we set up the jewels in the middle so they can get to their relative color jewel cards. Blue, green, red, and purple. You know, this player and this player would have an actual inverse, you know, he's turn left, you know, actually it's the same. He'll be turning left, he'll be turning left. So each one will be slightly different, you know. These two would probably have the same exact code. I screwed something up though. Yeah, I was supposed to be there. That's why you those. You know what? I didn't mirror this right. I should have changed this. Let's make this an exact mirror. What? I'm making this an exact mirror. Something like that. What? I'm making an exact mirror. It wasn't exactly mirrored on both sides. There you go. So something like that. So now they all have pretty similar, what? yet slightly different codes. He'll be turning right, then going forward and turning left. Right. You know, turn left and go forward and turn right. I, I know. I'm just I'm just explaining it for the people who are watching the show. It's okay. I was just showing them they could set up different stuff in there. Did you have fun playing? They can't talk because um, they're not on the channel. Alright, so uh, I hope you enjoyed watching, and um, we'll turn that off right here. We'll be back here in a little bit.